Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIVS home school i am mizan rahman assistant teacher of islamic studies of national Dell university school morning shift bonasi dhaka today i would like to take an islamic studies class for the students of class 4 our today's topic is chapter 3 short question 4 to 6 today's topic is chapter 3 short question 4 5 and 6 three questions time annual today's lecture number 14 and i will give hw on the lecture of today this number will be 13 okay dear students let's come to the board and listen chapter 3 short question and answer question number 4 dear students we have already finished short question 1 to 3 in the previous class today will be held question number 4 5 and 6 and in the next class will be held 7 8 and 9 three questions question number four what do your grandfather and grandmothers do with us what do our grandfather and grandmothers do with us answer our grand grandparents love us they look after us they give us nursing and tell us stories their students sometimes our grandfather grandfather and grandmothers to tell us very very interesting stories such as previous Novian Rasul stories and previous empire stories etc. It is the very very important for us and it is also very helpful in our daily life in our social life. So we have to listen very very interesting story from our grandparents and grandfathers. Okay, they also teach us good manners we will abide by their orders and advices we will honor them dear students we have to honor our grandfather and grandmother very much because they are the very honorable person in our family so we have to all time respect and honor our grandparents and grandmothers okay dear students now we will start question number five how did the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam behave with the elders question number 5 how did the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam behave with the elders answer the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would honor the elders and give salam when he met them he asked about their good and bad conditions the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says this is one kind of hadith. Lai samina malla mirham sagirana walam yakir kavirana. This is the famous hadith from our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said in the hadith, in the delivery speech of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Lai samina malla mirham sagirana walam yakir kavirana. Okay. Meaning of this hadith, he who does not honor elders and love the young girls is not my ummah or is not my follower and those who are not follower the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will not get the uh, satisfaction of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah the almighty and he will go to the jahannam so we have to very we have to be very careful about the respect elders and respect the very elder person in our society in our family in our country also okay dear students now we will start question number six what did the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam do with the young girls what did the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam do with the young girls answer the great prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would love the young girls he could call them and fondle them by keeping his hand on their head he would always speak the speak to them with smiling face he never behaves badly with them this is the very very important character of our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we know that our beloved prophet hazmat sallallahu alaihi wasallam all time shown affection to the young girls and all time uh, show aff affection to the every young girls those who his families and those who are live in the in his societies such as our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam all time shown affection to his granddaughters and grand 
sons, such as Hassan and Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he all time shown affection to him. And they very, uh, and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa all time uh, shown affection and all time give affection to them. So we have to also shown, show affection and good manners with the youngers, those who are leave our family and leave our society. Okay, dear students, this is today's class enough. Now I will give HW. Today's HW, write the answer of question number four and five. Question number four and five, these two question is do as a HW. And you have to memorize all questions because this question, today's class is question answer class and question answer class is very, very important for you because come in the examination, a lot of questions, those who are, you have to do answer and every question you get five marks. So you have to memorize this question and do HW question number four and five in your assigned HW copy and submit your HW copy on every Sunday by your guardians or any other persons from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, dear students, I hope that you have understood today's topic clearly. Keep practicing at home, avoid by your parents, stay well. See you again very soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.